Parts of Craven County took a hard hit Saturday, especially the Falcon Bridge neighborhood. Families there are trying to piece their lives and property back together. And News Channel 12's Alizé Prozy reports tonight a construction company now is joining those who are helping. She joins us live in Craven County with more on the story. Alizé. Good evening, Wes. Now, when that tornado ripped through here Saturday night, things went flying. Trees, cars, and even pieces of homes like this vinyl siding. Now, while folks have been busy, you know, cleaning up the small stuff, now they have help with the big stuff as well. Faith and John David helped pick up branches from their backyard. These two little kids and their mom, Kathy, were home when a tornado ripped through their Craven County neighborhood. Dad Raymond Bain was out of town Saturday night, but he got a hysterical phone call from his wife and kids who were huddled in this closet. The phone went dead, and then uh, she called me back about two minutes later and said our house was destroyed and the whole neighborhood was destroyed. Bain rushed home to see the damage for himself. I walked straight past my house. I didn't even care what it looked like. I just wanted to hold my wife and kids, and um, just knowing that they were okay was, uh, was the greatest feeling in the world. Just that, that first hug. It was, uh, it was awesome. With his family safe and sound, Bain is now working hard to pick up the pieces. Stuff's replaceable. We're just going to take uh, steps, um, just trying to rebuild. The entire Bain family is working together to get rid of the small debris, but now they have help with the big piles as well. Crews from Trader Construction Company are cleaning up the tree trunks that whipped across the Falcon Bridge neighborhood. The company's owner, Carl Huddle, is doing it all for free. Saw the damage and stuff and just wanted to do his part. He had the machines and the extra time, so he sent us down here. And hearing stories from neighbors like the Baines makes volunteering seem like a no-brainer. Trying to help the homeowner just get back to reality. Trying to help, help them out as much as we can. Now, I did talk to neighbors around here. They're very, very grateful for all the volunteers that came to help out. I also talked to the construction crew, and they tell me they were here all day today. They'll be back again tomorrow and throughout to week until everything is all cleaned up. Reporting live in Craven County, Alizé Prosing News Channel 12. Very encouraging to see all that help, Alizé. The Red Cross was also at uh, Falcon Crest today. It brought tarps to cover those homes that lost, lost their roofs, and there were a lot of them, as you see. And it's making sure again tonight that everybody who needs a place to stay has one.